Dokies, Andy Lip here, back with another Leon and Board video, and today we're letting viewers control the colour of all our overlays inside of OBS, using chat commands, redeemable channel points, pretty much anything, it's completely up to you how you use this. If you see my channel at twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy, you'll see that my whole overlay can change colour, this is what you're seeing now, it's such a cool little extra feature to just add and make your stream a little bit more interactive. All the kind of config files that I'm going to create today, I am going to leave in the description down below on my Discord, so make sure you get that joined, and it will save you a whole headache of writing it all out yourself. Big shout to Exceldro for, for writing the hex code um, code for me. Hex code code? Is that a thing? I don't know. It is now. Uh, so thank you so much for that, Exceldro. Absolute hero. Right, so before we get into it, make sure you do like the video. Also subscribe. I've got tons of tips and tricks coming your way for Leoran Board, OBS, pretty much anything. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. So just before we get into this, hopefully you have used Leor on board before, if not, check out my basics tutorial on how to get it set up and just the, the basics overall of Leor on board, check out the video just up there. Once you've done that and you know what you're doing, we're going to jump to Twitch. We're going to go and make a channel point redeemable because that's how I want this hex code to work. So hit the little logo up in the top right, go to create a dashboard, once here, community, and then channel points. And then we've got manage rewards and challenges. This will allow us to create a channel point reward. I've already set one up just here, but to create a new one, you just go down and press add new custom reward and it will show up blank just like that and make it look something like this. Give the reward a, a name. I'm just going to copy this. Once you've done it, make sure you do Control A on it and copy um, with Control C and then a description just so the viewers know what's going to happen. Type in a hex code and it'll change to that color. Most important bit, require viewer to enter text. Turn that on and then give it a cost. Hit save and then we can jump into Leoran board. So inside Leo and Board, I've created this deck. Again, I'm sharing it in my Discord down below, so make sure you do join. It'll save you the headache of having to type all this code out. Open up the deck that I send you. Right-click and edit Twitch triggers. This here, the redeem message, is what we made earlier for the channel point redeemable. We're going to paste it in there. It needs to be exactly the same. Same format, same capital letters, everything like that. It's got to be perfect. In messages, leave that as star because the star is a wild card for anything. So it will allow you to kind of read any message and it will cause Leon Board to activate. So we're going to jump now to edit commands. And you'll see this is the hex code setup. This is what Exceldro created for me because he's an absolute hero. So definitely go and support him if you're using his plugins and stuff. Jump on his OBS page, leave him a review, give him five stars. He's a, he's a legend. Uh, so you don't need to change anything here at all. The only thing that I am going to remember is this color underscore deck variable because that's what we're going to use to change the color. So this is the only thing I'm going to delete that command there. I've left you these comments in here. Change below this point. Sources you want to change the color. Uh, create a color correction filter on any source you want to change. So we're going to create that. So if I jump back into OBS and I'm going to use my cam for this. So I might disappear and it might look a little bit funny, but it's all right. Right click on whatever you want to change the color of. Go to filters. We're going to add a filter with a plus here. We're going to add a color correction, which is right at the top, because it goes in alphabetical order, Andy. Uh, and hit OK. You can call it anything you like. It's completely up to you. And you'll see I can change the color here. So I select color. So I want this green, this dirty green. So as you can see, I've nearly fully disappeared. But you can turn the alpha, uh, alpha channel down with the opacity just there and put it around 50. This is how I create that blurred camera in the background to, to kind of go as my colored overlay. And that is everything. Leave everything. You can tinker with the settings a little bit to get the desired look, but I'm just going to show you this for now. Hit close. We're going to jump back into Leoran Board and I'm going to create another command. So press the plus. Go and select uh, filter, change settings. The source name is going to be the one that we've added the filter to. So cam group. Go to NS cam group. And the filter name is color correction or whatever you've used for that color. And you've got two brackets just here. This is what we're going to import what we want OBS to do when this basically command is used. So I'm going to use speech marks and type in color. 
because that is what's in the JSON file. If you are using something other, if you're wanting to change filter settings for anything, you need to look in the JSON files to find out what the uh, variable is called for you to change. Uh, and then we're going to use semicolon. So this needs to be exactly like this. And then slash dollar sign. I'm going to paste that color deck in there. Dollar sign slash. So right now this is telling it change the color option to whatever has been worked out by this command all the way up here. And then hit done and hit done again. Otherwise the settings will not be applied. You will be able to make sure you've got Twitch connected by everything being grayed out here. That means everything is connected. Jump to your channel point redeemable, change overlay color, and we're gonna just change it back to white for now. And you'll see changes to white. We can do another color if I type in FF and then some numbers, turns it to a nice red. And it's as simple as that to do. And you can do that on anything. It doesn't have to be a webcam. It can be on a color source. It can be absolutely anything. It's completely up to you. I'm going to turn that filter off now so you can see me back to normal. Just there. Hit that. You can... Do, you do, there's a couple of ways that you can do it as well. You don't have to have it as a channel point redeemable. You could just have it as a chat message. You could use any of them Twitch trigger um, messages at all. It's completely up to you what you do with this. But hopefully you've learned something. If you have got any questions or anything you want me to cover in a different episode, let me know in the comments section below. But make sure you do like that video because it will help me massively. And also subscribe for any future tutorials that I am going to be doing. I post daily and hopefully it does help you out. Okay guys, put your rock for the stone. I'll see you soon. Come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy.